Kate Rains and welcome to yet another fidget toy advent calendar mystery box. For those of you who don't know, we previously did an advent calendar of fidget toys and it went like this. Oh my fingers, that hurts! Holy shrimp! And so we have a 2022 advent calendar that does look similar to one we had last year. However, the contents are supposed to be completely different because this is none other by... This is by? This is by none other than. There you go. This is by... <laughs> This is by none other than Mrs. Bench. This here is called version 2.0 of her advent calendar, and she sent this to me, so we're gonna check it out. And if you haven't seen the collab video that we did together, I will link it down below. And if you don't know what an advent calendar is, it's basically a huge mystery box full of different surprises leading up to the holidays. Let me know in the comments section below what is your date of birth and what item was on the inside. I absolutely love playing this game and I know many of you are like, oh, here I am born after the 24th. Don't worry, just take addition. So if you were born the 26th, just take the 24th and day two, you get double the amount, okay? Double the amount of surprises for your birthday. Just add two up, okay? That's how it works. <laughs> now, even though this was said to me by the viral TikToker, Mrs. Bench, my opinions are my own, not sponsored, not affiliated. And it doesn't mean I don't appreciate, I always give honest feedback. And if you want any information on Mrs. Bench, I will leave it down below. Oh, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. We become grains of salt in the Salt Shaker family, especially if you click on all notifications. I know that many of your grains are exactly like me and you love unique vinyl figures and mystery boxes. Whether they are known fandoms of your favorite things or amazing collaborations with artists. Which is why I'm super excited to talk about today's sponsor, Pop Mart. And I've been a huge fan of Pop Mart way before they sponsored us, so this is just, mm, so perfect. You know what? Let's go ahead and unbox a couple, starting with the Monsters Let's Christmas series. If you're looking for something both devious and festive, this is the right box for you. And they have quite a few adorable options that we can open up. They're all so cute and a little devious. <laughs> First one is the angel. Oh my God, look at that face. A gingerbread skull and the horn. This is so adorable. Look at the details where we can see the fur, the wings, the hair. Oh my God. Oh my God. We have the uh, Christmas girl. <laughs> I, I feel like, oh, there's a present. Every tiny detail is adorable. And here she is on her stand. And the Molly Ninagawa Mika blind box series is so beautiful. This set is specifically called Flower Dreaming, and we can get any kind of figurine representing a kind of flower. Let's open up a couple. I really want the guardian of the garden, but they're all absolutely adorable. This is really pretty packaging. <gasps> what? Let's get this off. This is so pretty. Ermi Gerd. Next. <gasps> is this the rose? Yes, it is. Red Rose Byrie Heart. She is adorable. And she comes with a huge rose with a velvety type texture. <gasps> Look at her. Ermi Good. And it's super exciting that Pop Mart has a Black Friday and Christmas event happening right now. These events are both on the Pop Mart website as well as their AliExpress site. And this event is taking place from November 24th to December 5th. Also, every order will be getting jelly sticker or Christmas postcard as gifts, and even more Christmas themed products as special gifts. I will leave the link down below as well as in the pinned comment because if you love these figurines and the details are me you're going to fall in love absolutely with Pop Mart figures. Thank you so much to Pop Mart for sponsoring today's video, making absolutely amazing figurines, and being huge supporters of this channel. Now I'll be honest, advent calendars for fidget toys usually end up putting in filler items that are not that great, so the quality is going to be really important. Now my day of birth is the 21st, so is that little? It's tiny. It's really tiny. Okay, so I'm really curious what we're gonna get on this one. Now, first things first, the reason I don't like these advent calendars is because the numbers are so hard to see. Please put an outline. So let's go ahead and do our little hunt for number one. Where is it? I found it, right here. And number one, what do we have for you? Oh no, did it fall? Yep. Now, to be fair, this was in the luggage while it was traveling here. So I have a feeling most things are down here. Let's go on with number two, which is right above it. All right, number two, what you got? Please be something. Oh, there you go. 
We have a mini pop tube, which if you know me, I like being obnoxious, and so... It's mini and it's adorable. I love portable things. I'm small too, only five foot tall. All right, let's find number three. I feel like half the time I'm hunting for this. Is this number three or 13? I'm going to guess that this is number three. I do feel quite a bit of bulge at the bottom. <laughs> Don't take me out of context. So I'm guessing a lot of stuff probably fell down. Here we have a zipper bracelet. Please be a good quality one. Well, it does feel like better than the ones we've had previously. And here, it does look oddly similar to the one we got in the previous advent calendar. However, the previous one already felt pretty flimsy and it was one of the teeth was kind of broken. So let's go ahead. Oh, that's quiet. Okay, that is really quiet, but you get the zipping satisfaction. I like that. It's smooth like butter too. Yeah, definitely nowhere near as terrible as the one we got in the previous advent calendar. Okay, Mrs. Bench. Mm -mm -mm. Next is day four, which I had a little bit of a hard time seeing, but it is indeed this long one over here. So let's see what we have. These boxes. Oh, monkey noodle. And they're also perfect. I love monkey noodles for many reasons. This is a good quality one. She's thick. And if you grains know anything about me is that I do love my monkey noodles thick. Look at that. It's perfect. You can make a little pretzel. And you can unknot it. And you can make noise like how I did. Let's hear that again. It was so satisfying. And yeah, this one is actually a pretty thick one. What is that? Okay, I thought it was a hole. I was like, this is now a chew toy. Do I blow into it? Don't do it. Don't put things in your mouth that you shouldn't. Don't you put it in your mouth. On we go to number five. I already found it. Let me know if you found it. And it is uh, there, all the way at the bottom. By the way, things that you see on the front are not necessarily the things on the inside. Mrs. Bench did let me know that she used the boxes that are generic, but the things on the inside are curated. Okay, number five. So everyone should technically be getting the same thing except for colors. What are you, number five? Another monkey noodle. Hmm, monkey noodle back to back. I think we need to change that. Oh gosh, pull. There we go. So we have two monkey noodles. And although I will not complain because I love these and I've kept basically every single one that I've ever gotten, I would like to see them spaced out a little bit more. Although technically having two back to back isn't too bad because you can knot them together like us all. And you can have a longer piece of thing to annoy people with. Whee! You saw nothing! So, uh, it's mo one monkey noodle for me now. Luckily, number six is not too far. Honestly, I thought these numbers would be harder to see, but I'm actually seeing them much easier than I expected it did it. Where are you? Oh, and yeah, that is really packed. Oh, gosh. Get out! Get oh, <gasps> it is not a big thing. <laughs> there you go. It is indeed my favorite thing. And I have to say, I am in love with the quality of the items on the inside. It's not them cheap stuff that we keep getting in the other advent calendar of fidget toys. And this is my favorite thing ever. I can rotate this and just keep going nonstop forever and ever. It's, it's just so good. And the best way I can describe this fidget toy is kind of like twirling coins in your pocket, or if you're like me and you like tearing napkins while they're in your pocket for some reason, that's the same motion for me. I just rip things in my pocket. Sika's trying it. Yes, Sika's here. For those of you who are saying, bring Sika back. She's in the background. She's in the background. <laughs> and seven is right up here. Like I said, these numbers are pretty easy. Now, if I skip the number that has nothing to do with the box and everything to do with my brain. Sometimes I'm not smart. I try my darndest. All right, this one's a longer one. So I wonder. <gasps> it's a marble mesh. Let's see the quality. And this one is a silvered color. This is probably one of the quietest fidget toys that you can have if you can bring it to the office or to your classroom. Listen, nothing. And then we can move it back and forth. So it's great to fidget this way, that way. And Sika, I see your hand. Sika's my sister, for those of you who don't know. Here's her lovely picture on the screen. Here you go. 
It feels like a cat toy. It does feel like a cat toy, but it ain't. But if you drop it on the floor, it will. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you greens know that the super not another crap kit makes an excellent gift for the holidays, whether it's for yourself or another grain or someone crafty in your life? And this kit includes a handmade mold by me where you can cast it and turn it into so many amazing projects like the ones you can see here on the screen. And yes, this kit does include a beginner-friendly airbrush. Link will be down below. Or if you're not into crafting but you love dragons, we have our very own Drag and Drop merch. Still available to be shipped for the holidays. This includes a color block hoodie with spikes right on top. Absolutely adorable. An amazing dragon backpack and handbag where you can turn the face inside out and use the inside as a pin collection show off. Absolutely adorable plushy charm that goes perfectly with any of the accessories. We also have bundles that help you save money. A salty wheel of emotions, perfect for nonverbal communication or just expressing how you feel. Also acts as a fidget toy. And the super softest scarf you'll ever see. It has three different designs on the same scarf. Feels like grandma made it for you. And both the super not another crap kit and the dragon merch will be linked down below. Make sure you get yours because some items have already sold out. All right, now we are looking for number eight. Where are you? Oh, I found it. Did you find it? Unless it's 18. No, I found number 8. Right here. And it is oh, another boy. long one, right? They're harder to see. They really should be putting outlines around the numbers, but okay. Another pop tube. This one, an actual sized one. Voila. And the first pop tube we got was a little one. Nice crunch. This one. Oh, mama. I don't know what it is about the crunch but it's definitely my jam. Are you annoyed yet? I'm very annoyed. <laughs> Now we're looking for number nine. So far, I have to say, I am pretty impressed with the quality of the items. I wish the box weren't the generic type because otherwise people will think it's the same garbage one that we ordered last year, but it's not the same thing. The contents are different. Where is number nine? Okay, I found it. Yeah, you found it at the same yeah. time right here because it's pretty orangey. What do we have? Continue on this route and we, oh, a fidget cube. Get out of here. Oh my God. For those of you who don't know a fidget cube, it is probably the all-in-one type of fidget toy. So you have everything from quiet, like a so. You can even push these, well, pull these up for extra fidgeting that's not quiet. And then the buttons, noisy, quiet, noisy, quiet. So you have two ends that are quiet and something a little bit more obnoxious. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? It is obnoxious. It is, but it's so perfect. This here is a nice little round ball that rotates. Feels very good. And here you have also rotation. Some of them are quiet and some of them make noise. Here, oh mama, this. And this is also quiet. And then you have kind of a worry stone type of crevice, which feels very nice. So if you like textures, this feels really, really good. It, it does definitely remove stress. So this, for me, this has always been one of my top five ever fidget toys. Now we have number 10 all the way down here and 11 right up top. So let's open them back to back. And 10 is a medium sized one, but I don't think the size matters. That's what she... What are you? Aha! We have the peas in a pod. Let's get that up. I do see a charm. What is this? Okay, we have a charm. Technically, this can go either way. If it is a crappy quality one, we're going to start feeling tension on our joints and it's going to be hard to push out. And the answer is no. <gasps> Again, this goes to show that this is a fully, oh, is this one coming out? Fully curated one. Oh, this one does not want to come out. Nope. This one does not want to come out, but these ones, look at the doggy. So cute. Yeah, these two are fine. This one does not want to come out. It is glued inside. Hang on, let's release it. There we go. So we've removed the glue. It doesn't really come too high up since the middle one is really the one that comes up the most. Even the one on the right side doesn't show up that much and this one even less. So quality is good. Left one, not so much. Or it could be the right one. No, it's the left one because we have the doggy face. Look at him peek. And if you're curious, this dog is actually from a Japanese show called Mameshiba. Very cute doggy. I haven't watched the show, it just kind of looks cute. And 11 is a much longer one. What do you have? Oh, that is colorful. Oh my God, that is so 80s or 90s colored. So here we have a simple dimple that is very colorful, very retro looking. Let's hear what it sounds like. I know it's a double dimple. It's not a simple one. 
Oh, that was good. Oh, that is nice. Let's try that again. That is nice. It has a really good pushback, and I love the design on this one. Now we're looking for number 12. Where are you? Oh, number 12. See, 14 up here, 13. Okay, I see it. Number 12 is right on the other side. Now, I'm really hoping this doesn't have those really cheap looking terrible puzzles that once you take them apart are impossible to put back together. Here's what they look like in the older version of this box, not from Mrs. Bench, but from Amazon. And as you can see, I definitely gave up. I did not want to put these back together. And this is the one that we got our little ring twirly thing. Another pop tube and ring twirly thing and Wait, an acupuncture ring? Okay, th there's definitely a few that fell in here. Unless it's three for one. Because for number one, we didn't get anything. So I'm get. Oh, this must be that. This must have been number one. So it really migrated. It really definitely fell. And maybe the pop tube was supposed to be with the other pop tube. I don't know. So we have two crunchies. How annoying can we get? I'll bite you. <laughs> And you grains have already seen this one, so we already have this nice twirly type ring. I keep every single one of these because I can never have enough. It goes in every single one of my pockets, every single one of my bags. And I'm guessing this one was supposed to be number one. So this is supposed to be like an acupuncture type ring. It does feel really nice, like a massage. Me, I like the massages. And it's quiet too. So this is another kind of fidget toy that you can bring if you're looking for something quiet. I love this. Voila. Let's get 13 down here, and then 14 is on the complete opposite end. This one is a squarish one, so it's kind of big. Oh, what do we... Hopefully it is something big, though. What is in here? Come on. <gasps> what? I don't think we've ever gotten one of these in, in an advent calendar. We have an Orbeez ball. Oh my god. Yeah, this is really quiet. What the heck? And it's one of the textured ones, so I really, really like that. And with the light, you can see how colorful it is on the inside. That is really pretty. Now, I do get aggressive with these, so they last me maybe a month at best because my squishiness of them is a little intense. But look at that. That is one of the rare times we actually get something like this. Oh, and by the way, for those of you who want to say, But Jackie, you're not complaining that it's not holiday themed. I know, because it doesn't say that it's Christmas themed. It just says Advent Calendar. Whereas the other one that we did said like ultimate Christmas theme or something like that. If you're curious about that, I will link it down below. 14, what are you? Oh gosh, that was, that was quite, what are you? What is that? <gasps> it's a lemon? Yes! <laughs> in there. I love the texture. I feel like we got this in a previous unboxing and I love the texture. You can see the texture on this actual slice. It feels really good. I absolutely love this. It's kind of like the peas in a pod but a lot less pressure. That is really cute. I like that. Very unique. Oh that made a sound. I was wondering where that sound came from. Not me! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> That is really cool. I like that one. Number 15. And 15 is also another long one. I really hope I'm not skipping numbers. My brain genuinely can't remember. All right, 17, no, 15. 15 is, what was this one called? Is it a little snike? Now, usually I'm not a huge fan of these because I find I can pinch myself, but it all depends on the quality. And so far, listen, there's no joint movement sound, which means the joints were loose enough so that if you put your finger in between, it would pinch and hurt. But this is actually a good quality one. Oh, I love it. Oh, yes. And the joints are not loose. That is nice. That is a good touch. Way to go to not make me hate this one. This one is a cute fidget toy because you can just basically mindlessly twist it and twirl it all you want. So that is always a bonus. I like mindless things. And where is 16? All right, I found 16. And now we need to find 17. Where are you? 17? Oh, there it is. This was really hard to find. It's right here. 17 is right there. That was, that was really hard to see because of the snow and the decoration. It kind of blended with the house. But let's go for 16 and see what's in that small compartment. 
Oh, more gears. Now, I'm not necessarily a huge fan of this one. Is the quality there? Absolutely. Do I know what to do with this? Absolutely not. Other than the fact that I can twirl it like this, I'm not sure how else how else to fidget with this. I don't know. Is it kind of like, can I, can I do any? No, I don't know. I am completely lost on how to fidget with this to make it satisfying. So if you do know, let me know in the comment section. I just, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. 17 is a super long one. So you are, oh, another one. Wait a dang minute. Wait a dosh darn darn minute. It's another one of those little snake things. This one's in different color. So the first one we got was a gray and white, and this one is a blue and yellow. And the quality? Yes, very nice. Yeah, it doesn't have shaky loose joints, and the quality is way better than the ones we've gotten in the past. I love that sound. Yes, this one clicks a lot better though. Yeah, definitely clicks a lot better than the other one. I like that one. But I don't think we needed two, but then again, we did get two monkey noodles and I'm not too upset about it. Wait, do they connect? Hang on. I think they do. I don't know. Yes, they do. <laughs> so now you have an extra long one. Fidget toy is what I mean. And now it's floppy for the fidget toy. Okay, the fact that they enter to connect makes it actually a lot more fun because you can close it off this way, which is actually kind of hard for me because I dislocated both my thumbs, but yeah, you can have... <laughs> but yeah, it's that's good that they do connect together. I do hear something rattling inside and I have no idea what it is, so let's go for 18, which is right down here. And trust me, if you have a hard time seeing it, I do too. I especially, I don't even have my glasses on. All right, 19 is right down here. Okay, so they're diagonal from each other. That's good for us. I don't even know if there's anything in here. It may have moved. Oh gosh. Yeah, definitely moved somewhere, so we're eventually gonna find it, or it could have been something that we already unboxed. 19 is over here. Oh my god, please be a good one. So the quality of this one will make it either fun or difficult. And the suction cup fidget toys is one of the later ones that I discovered. It's basically the suction cup obnoxious like this, which is great to work the muscles in your forearms. But if you push it even harder, hang on, like so. Oh, hello, come on. They're supposed to suction pretty strong. No, maybe we need to lick it. No, <gasps> no. So normally what's supposed to happen is if you push it hard enough this way, they should have a good strength to them enough so that when you, no, it's not, it's not working. Enough suction so that they hold each other like this and then you click this way to make that click sound. But we don't have that suction. It's not working. Let's try on the table as hard as we can. And no, I'm not sure why, but that's usually what it's supposed to do. So maybe it's a little too resistant, so it pulls back too hard. So this is something, Mrs. Bench, you're gonna have to check on the other ones. So they do click outwards as well, but we only have half the toy here. The other half is the other fun. 20 is a medium sized one. Oh gosh, is there some, oh, what is that? Oh, <gasps> a fidget remote. Now, fidget cube. Wonderful. Fidget remote, also wonderful. Because it has very similar kind of components. We have a control, oh, this is pretty. I just noticed, kind of looks like a old school ceramic plate. So we have a joystick, we have the buttons, quiet and noise. And then we have the rotating swivel things over here, feels nice. Same thing, but this time this is textured. In the back, we have a quiet swivel. And the clicks. And up here we have a spring-like fidget, which is really satisfying and extremely obnoxious. So I love these. I do have a couple of these, but this is really aesthetic, really pretty. And it comes with a strap so you can put on your bag or backpack. So far, these are like my favorite fidget toys, the majority of them. So this is definitely not a trash one. <gasps> now we are on my birthday. So let's go for the 21st and see what item I get for my birthday. And it's another zipper. Yeah, the zipper's cute, but I would like to see more variety. Since the zippers don't necessarily need to become, you know, compounded. And this one isn't a good one. Oh, this one's noisier. If we compare it to the first one we got, 
quite noisy. But it's not really broken or anything like that. It just has a little bit more noise. Again, these are not really made to wear as a bracelet, but you can put it on your hand and just kind of fidget this way. So I'm not mad about it, but I would like to see a more kind of variance in the boxes. 22 is the next one. And oh, another marble mesh. So we do have a few doubles, which again is fine if they came in the same compartment, but I, my cat's snoring. <laughs> and again, I like these very quiet, very portable, but I would like to see them come in the same box or have something different. 23 is, aha, is that what was jiggling? What is this? Okay, I have no idea what this is. Is that like that snake? Yes, it's kind of like that snake toy. I'm not a fan of these. I'm not a fan of these because I find the edges to be very sharp and that is still the case. Like these ones are way too sharp and I've hurt myself more often than not on them. So you can see like they're very, very pokey. The quality is good. Definitely better than the other trash that we've gotten in previous boxes, but the sharp edges just don't do it for me. Not a fan of these, not one bit. I don't even know their names. What's this one called and what's this one called? I need to be edumacated. And last but not least, we have the biggest compartment in the middle, which is the 24th. And we are, oh, you know what? Let's just pull the entire thing. A rainbow poppet. Very pretty. Oh my God. That is really beautiful. All right, let's hear it. Oh. And the other side. Yes. I like that. And you can tell it is a good quality. Usually the ones that we get in the other ones are so flimsy, they kind of fall apart. This one is holding its shape very nice. The colors are so vibrant. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these was your favorite. I have to say, out of all the advent calendars that we open, this one is definitely one of the better fidget toy ones we have ever done. If you want to see the entire playlist of which ones to avoid, I will link it down below. That way you know exactly which one you want. Again, this one is the version 2.0. There is a version one, but we have the version 2.0. If you want to watch previous advent calendars and unboxing, make sure you check up here. If you want to watch another video that you may have missed, check down here. Till then, I will see you grains in the next video.